What's up, folks? Welcome to OG DIY. And uh, the video that I'm going to share with you today is how to lubricate the drive shaft of drive shafts of the, uh, in this case, is a 2017 LX570. So my first attempt at it, I put it up on blocks and uh, got up underneath it without raising it. As some of you may know, it has uh, AHC automatic height control, which is essentially a hydraulic sift system that will lift the body. Um, I didn't raise that. I got up under it with the uh, with the uh, uh, rolling it up on the ramps, and I couldn't uh, rotate any of the drive shaft to get to the U joint circ fittings. So. Um, Got a different approach I'm going to take this go around. So you live and learn. I'm sharing it with you all. What we're going to do, and I'll show you the equipment here in a second, is we're going to lift all four wheels up so that we can put it to neutral. And then either I'll be able to rotate it by hand or I can take a bar, um, you know, a straight bar and, and rotate it by way of putting that bar into the U joints and turning it. So that's the approach I'm going to take. You will need a grease gun. Uh, and likely, because I've started this process already, you're going to need more than one grease cartridge. So grease guns are inexpensive. You can buy them for under 35 bucks. Um, you can get the jack stands relatively cheap. Got mine at Walmart. And so all in, when I consider what it would uh, cost if I took this to a Lexus dealer, my goodness, it would be through the roof. I've got a quote on it, and it's quite high. Uh, or another service facility, right? Non-Lexus service facility, they're gonna charge you quite a bit. So in these times of high inflation and runaway costs, doing it the DIY way makes a lot of sense to me. So, all right, let's take a look at the equipment we're gonna need. Okay, so you got your jack stands. Uh, in my case, I got these ultra heavy duty six ton pair. You don't need that. Even though this is a over 6,000 pound vehicle, that's six ton per jack stand. So that's over spec. Uh, I purchased those for some other work I was doing uh, on heavy vehicles and I'm just gonna use it for this job as well. This is more reasonable. These are the three ton jack stands. I think the two of those were like 35 bucks at Walmart. These run, you know, 65 bucks or something like that. Uh, and there is your grease gun. That baby's a little tricky uh, to understand. I probably do another separate video on just that. I mean, there's a bleeder valve here. There's a priming um, plunger here. Putting the grease cartridges in have to be handled appropriately so that you don't have a full-blown explosion. Not not an explosion, but you got grease everywhere. So. This is got what we're going to need to do the next steps of getting the truck ready uh, to grease the, the drivetrain. All right, so you're looking at part of the rear axle housing, right? Axle housing goes along here, along here. Um, this is a torsion bar that's connected here. Anyway, putting the jack stand, there's a nice hunk of metal right here, a nice surface where you can put the jack stand. You could probably also slot it right up under here between the torsion bar. Um, I think there's enough room potentially right there to put it up, but I'm, I'm gonna shoot for this spot right here. Uh, and I'm gonna have one on each side. So put one here and on the other side when we get her all done. So next step is to grab uh, the jack itself, and we can get started. Okay. So get up there and make sure you're kind of, you're centered right on that axle housing. And it looks like we are, so we're raising it up. And it looks like we're already off the ground. Well, that's good. Next thing is, let's get a jack stand up under here. These jack stands are quite tall. So I'm gonna have to take, I gotta go up another couple inches or so. 
and that allows me to bring this in much closer. So I don't have to have a car up so stinking high because I don't really need it right now. The wheels are probably three inches off the ground. All right. So we're going to repeat this on the other side. No, slide it right in there. Okay. So we can let this one down. All right. We have the back wheels up. All right, so you can see we're up off the ground on the back wheels. So let's go, as I said, let's go up front. All right, since this is an independent front suspension, I suspect we're going to have some droop uh, right here if I jack compression or droop right here if I jack it from there. So let's see. So there's a frame rail right here, goes all along here, right? You could jack from here and then position the uh, jack stand right up under that lower control arm. So I'm gonna try that first. I'm gonna raise it here and see if I can get a jack stand up under there and see what that looks like. Yep, we got movement. Tires off the ground. I want to be about right there. Okay, so when that comes down. There's less distance there than there is where this tire is. So I should still be off the ground. There's a notch right here on this back part of the control arm that I like kind of has a nice spot for it to Stabilize so you don't have any slippage. So I'm aiming for that. Let's bring this thing down. Then we'll have all four wheels up off the ground. Nice. Okay, let's get the jack out of the way. Okay, so we're completely off the ground. Check this out. This is the height of this thing is like almost above belly level for me. I've put the vehicle into neutral. I started it, kept my foot on the brake, and that's why it's screaming at me. Uh, it stayed in accessory mode. So I put the vehicle in neutral. And now I'm very curious to get up under here and see if I can rotate the drive shaft. Yeah, check that out. Woo! They move everything in the rear. That's awesome. Now I'm going to come up to this front one. Let's see. So it also looks to me like, I'm gonna look over here. So that's rotated, that Zerk fitting straight down. This Zerk fitting right here is virtually straight down. This one here is almost straight down. 
problem is I got this black plastic nonsense block on the other one. So I'm going to have to take that off. It's good to get up under here and take a look and see if all your boots, steering rack, your CV joints, anything's leaking. And it looks okay. okay. This baby should be able to just slide back, I think. Oh, no, I got these two right here to take off. can see that right there right grease guns on it now the hard part is and the grease is going in I want to see it seeping out that tells me I got enough in there yeah it's already kind of backing up on me okay So this is a lithium marine grease, so it's kind of it's got a green tint to it. And uh, I pushed it in until it didn't want to go anymore. So I think that one's done. Now we're going to get after this next one, which is right here. And I can already see the yolk. The yolk right here starts to move when you've got enough grease going in here and you'll start to see it seeping out the sides. And I'm seeing some bubbling. And there's some grease coming up around the top there. So that one's done. I put a full tube in that uh, last night. Wow. Holy mackerel. Okay. Get that cleaned up a bit. I got seepage around the yoke right here, so that's good. Got that one done. Now we're going to move down to the next one down here, which goes to the rear. Got that one up. And I also put a tube of grease in this one last night. And I'm seeing the yoke move on this one. I think we got her. That one's good. If you can see right there, this is the front U-joint Zerk fitting, that one. So I was moving to the back already, that to the back drive shaft, and I skipped this one. So I'm going to put the 
grease gun to that and uh, get that one greased up too. Okay, so you see the fit fitting is in there. And the grease is coming out the sides of those U-joints, which is, that's exactly what you want. Okay, so that one's done. Okay, so there's the front, let's see, I'm doing this wrong. There's the front Zerk fitting. That's the front. Incidentally, that's the front of the rear drive shaft, that Zerk fitting right there. Uh, the rear Zerk fitting on the front drive shaft was so tight, I had a tough time getting the grease gun off of it messing around with all kinds of crap. I was uh, trying to pry it off with a, <clears throat> let's see, pry it off with a uh, screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, all kinds of things to try to make it happen. Let's see. Anyway, I had the grease gun totally connected to the fitting and couldn't pull it off with all my might and uh, ended up just twisting the drive shaft and that did it strangely enough was able to get it loose so a little forewarning sometimes these things can be a bit of a bear to pull off and uh, that worked for me that way anyway there we're on And if you listen closely, you can hear that, yep, I just heard it. The telltale sign of when it's pushing the grease um, out through the U-joint deal. Let's see if this baby comes off for me. All right, let's see if this works. It did work. Rotated it and out it came. I'll be darned. I fight that thing and fight that thing until the cows come home, but you just rotate it and out she pops. All right. Here is our sixth and the final Zerk fitting. see the grease coming through right there so if you see right there where that junction of the u-joints there's a bead of grease there and a bead of grease coming out right there so that's it we're done let's get this baby back on the ground All right, gang, thanks for hanging out with me at OG DIY. Hopefully this video was uh, educational and entertaining for those of you that have not uh, greased your drivetrain, whether it's a two-wheel drive, whether it's a full-time four-wheel drive as this uh, LX is and Land Cruisers of the same year. It's a relatively easy job if you've got the tools uh, and it's a lot cheaper, as I said at the outset, um, when you do it yourself. So I'm good for another 60,000 miles and uh, all in. I probably spent, oh, I'm going to say $100. So $100 for a job that they can charge you as much as $400 for. And that includes the equipment I needed to buy that will be used the next time I need to grease this bad boy. Well, hit that thumbs up. Hit that little uh, bell. That will tell you when uh, future videos are coming. Throw something in the comment section. I'll get back to you and look for more OG DIY videos coming your way soon. Thanks and be good. Bye-bye.